It's time for Random Rush. You know what that means? I listen to Rush Limbaugh for 60 seconds, and then I respond in 90. And it is now uh, 1.38 p.m. East time, Eastern Coast time. And could not be compromised. The never-Trumpers and the establishmentarians figured that it was this man who would keep Donald Trump from firing nuclear weapons at Jeff Bezos. It was H.R. McMaster who was going to bring a solid respectability and a responsibility to an otherwise out-of-control, unique, infantile, inexperienced president and administration. So this man with enviable integrity and respect. This man, H.R. McMaster, who everybody in the drive-by media and everybody in the Washington establishment loves and respects and thinks is solid, goes out and tells them last night and today that what was in the Washington Post is false, and they've chosen not to believe him. It is not because of Trump that they want transcripts. They are essentially saying to H.R. McMaster, we don't believe you. This is not about Trump, this request for transcripts. This is about McMaster. McMaster's out there in two different press briefings last night and today telling them, you guys got it all wrong. There was nothing all whatsoever going on in that room, even close. All right, I gave uh, uh, Rush uh, 90 seconds, uh, or almost, and I will take 90 seconds. First of all, what Rush is uh, trying to do is trying to make it about the hypocrisy and the Donald Trump um, uh, uh, hysteria and the uh, derangement syndrome, so much so that even though they love McMasters, they're not going to believe McMasters. Part of that is because McMaster said yesterday none of it happened, and then his boss the next morning said it did happen, but it was okay. Part of the reason why people don't believe McMaster is because his own boss completely (laughs) threw him under the bus and said it did happen. And then we have reporting not just from the Washington Post, but separate reporting from the Times, Reuters, Wall Street Journal, So it happened. Why doesn't why doesn't Rush Limbaugh just accept the fact that it's perfectly legal for the president to do that? It's just that some people would disagree with the value of doing it because he's not going to argue on the merits of it. Uh, he can't. And I would imagine his next segment is going to be about uh, what some Hollywood person said. Or about how, you know, you can't say Happy Easter in the middle of the summer anymore or whatever it is. Because they've completely run out of things to talk about. And uh, that's my time. It's good to be speaking with you, Rachel. And I know you will try to direct a conversation to a two-thirds cut in Medicare and a new proposal from a congressman from Oklahoma that Hispanic children should be shot in public squares and whoever survives can get a one-way ticket to Honduras. But I would like to discuss something more (laughs) substantive, if I may. (laughs) Did you realize that there are students at Oberlin College (laughs) in Ohio who no longer want local children to do an Easter egg hunt? Now, the hunt is still happening. It was about two students, and the petition was a joke. But this is a war on Christianity freedom of speech, and Easter. And you're talking about Medicaid. Of course you would, Rachel. Socialist lesbian. Let me, you know, you make a joke like that, but let me just tell you this. Um, uh, Dave Rubin, virtually all his tweets yesterday were about what was going on campuses. The last one, literally in the, the heart of all this stuff lying around on Twitter, he uh, is responding to a tweet and doesn't just respond to it. He quote tweets it, right? Because this, this is what you do. This is the, you know, this is the thing. You, you quote tweet it if you really want to make your statement as opposed to just responding to somebody. And somebody uh, tweeted at him, was watching Spider-Man. There's a joke where he asked the wrestler if he has a husband. No way the left would allow that today, Ruben report. And Ruben put out, Peter Parker was obviously a homophobe. And if you disagree with me, you're obviously an arachnophobe. 
That guy is, you know, as I always say, though, he he the one distinguishing feature of Dave Rubin is the his perfect meeting of the middle of being a pretty genuinely stupid guy and also unbelievably well, cynical. You will appreciate what I wrote back to him was capturing the pulse of the nation. I quote tweeted and then dot 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 uh, a, a um, hashtag core brand proposition. <laughs> Did you not at me on that? I know I should. And you know that, mo and every time he tweets, at least a couple times a week, people tweet at him and suggest, like, hey, you want to talk to a smart liberal? You could talk to Sam or Michael. And Nothing. No, just Radio no interest in a silent. free and open exchange it's of It's really, you know, I start to think that, that you're the only real liberal because he's not the only real liberal in it. <laughs> Hi, folks. It's Sam Cedar. You know me from just a minute ago. Listen, uh, we've had a problem on YouTube. Let me make a graphic uh, visualization. Uh, back in March, our revenue and the ads that were monetized was a lot, like here. And now, over the course of actually within a day into April, <laughs> it's down to about here. Now, this is just a artist rendering, but that's basically it. Uh, we were uh, here, and now we're here. Uh, that's because of some uh, YouTube thing where advertisers were concerned on being on hate sites, and of course, uh, we're a news uh, organization that sometimes talks about hateful people, and we got caught up in their algorithm. I thought it would be fixed by now. It's not. We need your help to keep giving you free content on uh, YouTube. Uh, we don't have the advertiser support that we had even back, you know, here. Um, so we're looking for your help. Go to our Patreon site. Give a couple of bucks. Literally, you could give a couple, and it would be very helpful. Head over there. Here's the link right here or down there. It's somewhere around here. Find it and go help us out. Thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.